What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use menus in Scratch for Discord. If you don't know what Scratch for Discord is, Scratch for Discord is a platform that lets you create a Discord bot without actual coding with drag and drop blocks, and it's really easy to get started. So if you want to get started with Scratch for Discord, make sure to watch the first two videos on this channel, and make sure to watch the other videos to learn how to become a pro at Scratch for Discord coding. So if you don't know what a discord.js menu is, I have dankmemer for an example. So dankmemer has an inventory command, so I can do please inv for inventory, and it would show up with a inventory. These are called buttons, these blue things at the bottom. You can click them and they would edit the message. But the thing we're looking at is this, this filter thing. This is called a button menu. So you can click one of these and select one, and then in this case, Dink Beamer makes it so it filters it, but you can make it do whatever you want with your bot. So this is what we're going to be making. But we're going to be making kind of like a help menu. It's not going to be an actual help menu, it's just going to be showcasing the menus. So I'm going to be using Preview 454 right now. In a few of the next videos, I might be moving on to Preview 469, because it's basically just Preview 454 but with a little more features. So I have a little model set up, so when a message is received, if to lowercase message content starts with dash menu 1, so we're going to have another menu too. So it's gonna, that's gonna be dash menu 2. And these blocks you can get from the Joe's category. In the buttons category, you can get in channel this send something with button slash row slash menu. I don't know why it's only in buttons. I think they should have made it so that it's in both buttons and menu. But just get that one from buttons. But it, it also works with menus. But and then the rest of the blocks are from menus. So in channel, message channel, send. This is going to be the actual message content. So we can send something with the menu. In this case, it's going to be the embed. In the, for Dink Memer example, it was the embed. And this can be an embed if you want it to be. But it would have to be a simple embed. Because from messages, it would be have to be a simple embed. These are called simple embeds in here. Because if you create a... Okay, if you create an embed, you, the, the send embed doesn't work on here. And then you're going to have this unique kind of looking block. So it's going to be, the outside is kind of like a circle, but the inside you can put actual blocks in. This is in the menu category again. So this is going to build your menu. But message button menu ID help placeholder, and this is the placeholder. The ID, no one is going to see, it doesn't really matter, but you're going to be able you're gonna have to use it later in the code and the placeholder is gonna be what the user sees before they click on it so in this case it's filter dot 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 that's gonna be that text that's right there and then inside it you have to put create button menu so these are gonna be your options the things that you can click on so one is gonna be fun commands so the label is gonna be fun the emoji is gonna be this the ID is going to be fun, and the description is fun commands. I, don't, I can't really show it in this because this one, this example, doesn't have any description emo or emojis. But you guys will see at the end of the video. And same thing for another button menu, but with moderation commands. And then inside that, you can put when a menu is clicked by member, message member. If the ID equals help, so this is the ID, message button menu ID. So if the, the ID of the menu that they're clicking on is help and the value equals fun. So the value is kind of like the ID of one of the options. So this is, would be the value of this. And the, but the total ID is help. So this basically says if they're clicking on this button right here, then it would update the button message. So it would update the message that says navigate through the menu and it would edit the message to you clicked on fun commands. And if you leave the button row slash menu blank, then I'm pretty sure it just stays the same. So if you leave this blank, it will just put this in from last time. But if you put an, in another thing, then it would use the new one instead. And same thing for the moderation commands. So I have a few more models set up. So if you go scroll a little to the right, this file is also in the description, by the way, if you want to go through it by yourself. So let's say when it, when it says here, when you say when a menu is clicked by a member message member if you want it to make if you want it to make it so that everyone can click the menu not only one specified member you can make it so it says in server message server get all member then 
when a menu is clicked by member or member and these blocks can be found in the member category so this is basically just saying when a menu is clicked by any member in the server so it would it would work with any member and the next one is replies so when a menu is clicked by member you can reply to the menu in this case the content will just be this is replying to the menu and you can see the con the comment that i put on here about the ephemeral so if you put the ephemeral as true in the logic section you can change it or to true or false if it's true then only the member who used the interaction and which is this in this case it's the menu can see the reply so if you don't know interactions are any kind of message components so anything like menus and buttons so if it's true then only the person clicking on the menu can see it but if it's false then anyone can see the reply and the edit block that is this edits the reply above and this is kind of confusing they should have made it cheat they should have made the text a little easier to understand because it just says edit when i first saw this block i thought it actually edits the first message the first message that has the menu attached to it but then i realized that it actually edits the reply and of course the delete reply just deletes the reply and the last model is the second menu which is going to showcase the replies the uh, the first menu focused on the updating the messages or editing the messages this one's going to focus on replies so this part is the same exact thing it's going to send the same exact thing but the same exact menu but this time when a menu is clicked by member message member if they're clicking on the fun then it replies this is replying to the menu and it's going to be ephemeral and then it's after two seconds it's going to edit it but if they're doing the moderation commands menu then it would reply this is replying to the menu and it's not going to be ephemeral this time after two seconds it's going to edit it, and after another two seconds it's going to delete it so the reason i didn't put delete reply on the fun is because we can't actually delete our own ephemeral message so just keep that in mind if you use ephemeral messages you can it won't let you delete the reply you'll just have an error in the console and the bot will crash but if you set the ephemeral as false then it should be able to delete it so i'm just gonna move all of this to replit and start up my bot and show you how it looks in discord a few moments later and if you're using the normal if you're using this message when a message is received there's this new error uh, called cannot find module dot slash handlers slash load events this is actually with a new update with Mr. Rito, they added a command handler, which basically just makes the commands, makes making the commands a lot easier and more organized. But if you're not using the command handler, you might, well, you will actually get this error. So just do control F and search for load events and just wherever it says it, just delete it if you're not using it. If you're using it, it's fine. They should actually make it so that it doesn't require that module if you're not using the command handler. But once you delete those, or if you're using the command handler, then it should be fine. Oh, there's actually another one called load commands and another one called dot slash commands. Okay, that should be all. Just, just once you delete all of those, then it should start up correctly. And there it is, my spot for Discord bot is online. So when I do the command dash menu one, then it sends the message, navigate through the menu. And then the placeholder is click to navigate through the menu, just like we said it. And once we click on it, there is an emoji, a type, a label, and a description on both of them. So if we click fun, then it edits the message and it says you clicked on fun commands. So when I said that over here when I said that if we leave this blank it just stays the same I was actually wrong so it actually removes the menu so if you want it to stay the same you just duplicate this and put it in here and of course if we do the same command and click on moderation this time then it says you clicked on moderation commands so when we do menu 2 and click on the fun commands then this is replying to the menu and two seconds later this is the edited version so if you've never seen this, you've probably seen this before if you use bots or you just know about Discord, then you've probably seen this. It says only you can see this and this is what it looks like when it's an ephemeral message. And if we click on and if we click on the moderation command this time, then it's not ephemeral and it edits the message and it also deletes the message. So that's actually it for today's video guys. So we're actually getting really close to 200 subscribers. 
we're gaining like a lot a few subscribers each day which i'm really surprised of even a few minutes ago just bit right up right before i started recording i saw we had 194 subscribers and we already have 195 just within a few minutes so if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe so we can hit 200 subscribers and i have something really big planned when we do hit 200 subscribers so if you have any questions or need support with anything about scratch for discord or any discord bot coding in general make sure to join my discord server scratch for discord world and make sure to join the Scratch for Discord community server too. So stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you next time.